Hey guys, today we'll be doing multiplying decimals by thousand and larger numbers. In our previous two videos, we did how to multiply decimals by 10 and 100. <laughs> this is pretty much the same thing except we're, we're using larger numbers like thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, and so on. So our first example will be 6.1 times 1,000. So, if you've seen our previous video, we said that we don't really need to do the entire like multiplication pro process in which like we write it down and keep on doing it. That takes a long time, right? All you have to do like to do this like simple and you get the right answer, but it's more quick this way, is count the number of zeros. So, 1000 has 3 zeros, right? So, what we're going to do is take the decimal number, which is 6.1 and move this decimal point right here three times because 1,000 has three zeros, right? So we're going to take this decimal point and move it one, two, three. Now, as you can see, there are two gaps here, right? What are we going to do with the two gaps? Well, this is really simple. All you do is add zeros. So that means the product of 6.1 times 1,000 equals 6,100. Now, you could put like a point zero, so that would become six, one, zero, zero, and then point zero, and you could add as many zeros as you want. But this, after the decimal point, if there's a zero, it does not hold any value. So it's not important to add those zeros, so all you can do is cancel this out, and we are left at 6,100, which means the product of 6.1 times 1,000 equals 6,100. That was really easy, right? How about we try multiplying a different decimal number by a larger number than 1,000, maybe like 100,000. So, let's say we have 4.5 times 100,000. So once again, all we have to do is count the number of zeros in 100,000. And as you can see, 100,000 has five zeros. So we're going to write this decimal number right here, 4.5, and move this five places. So we're going to take this decimal point and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in the gaps, we're just going to put in zeros. So as you can see, the product of 4.5 times 100,000 equals 450,000. So that was really easy, right? Now I hope you guys understood this topic, and if you want to find out more examples on doing this video, on doing this topic, sorry, you can visit our website and we'll see you guys next time.